Problem 10, dry slope field for the differential equation dy dx equals x minus 1. Please keep in, keep in mind the derivative is actually just the slope. So what I'd like to do is figure out the slopes at each of these points. Um, I'm going to go strictly starting with x values because the slope is dependent on just the x value. Um, I notice that when x equals 1, the slopes will equal 0. So whenever x equals 1, I can draw lines that have slope of 0. And then I'm just going to go on either side. When x equals 2, if I plug 2 in there, 2 minus 1 is 1. So when x equals 2, my slopes will have slopes of 1. My slope field will. When x equals 0, if I plug 0 into here, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So I will have slopes of negative 1. And then when x equals negative 1, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So my slopes will be negative 2, and they just need to be steeper than the lines I already drew. And that's all we need to do. Okay, number 11, match the slope field with the equation that the slope field could represent. So on this one, we're looking for what do you see? So we're looking for the equation. We're not looking for, we're not going to be looking at the little slope lines this time. So I'm just going to see, this is what I see. And when I look at that, since this goes through the point 0, 0, I know that this is a picture of the sine graph. So that would be the match. We just write y equals sine x for that one. For b, I'm just going to look at, at what do I see. I see a bunch of lines going this way if I'm putting them all together. And which one would represent the equation of that line? That would be y equals 2x. And then this one, what do I see? I see some parabolas. And I know the equation of the parabola would be that one right there. So this one would be y equals x squared minus x plus 2. Number 16, match the slope fields with their differential equations. So this time we're talking about differential oh. equations. So the differential equations will actually be the slopes. So what I like to do on this one is before I even try to match, I try to look at where the slopes equal 0 because that's usually the easiest place to start. <clears throat> so if I look down here where it says dy dx equals x plus 3, I know that the slope is going to equal 0 when x equals negative 3 because if I plug in negative 3, I will get 0. On this next one, my slope will be 0 when x and y are opposites. So that would be just some examples like 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1, negative 2, 2, 2, negative 2. So all those points is when we would see slopes of 0. Okay, the next one, my slopes would be 0 when y equals 0. My next one, we're going to have slopes of 0 when the x equals 0. And this one, since we have a fraction, I'm also going to put if y were equal to 0, my slopes would be undefined. So undefined slopes when y equals 0. And then this last one, um, our slopes will equal 0 when the x's are equal to 0. Okay, so we've got some pattern to go by now. Now I'm going to go up here and find out where my slopes are 0. So if I look on this first one, I see slope lines of 0 at the line y equals 0. So now I can just go down which one did I say was happening at y equals 0. It was this one. So my answer will be dy dx equals y. Right For b, I look at where my slopes equal 0, and it would be right along this line. And I notice that it's happening at 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, negative 1, 1, negative 2, 2. It's when the x and y are opposites, which we already found out from that one would be this. So dy dx equals x plus y. And then my third one, I look at where my slope's equal to 0, and it looks like just right along this line. And it looks like it's going to be x equals a negative value. And although it, if you counted it, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We don't have one that says um, x plus 6. So I'm assuming that this graph is going by halves. So this would be occurring at x equals negative 3. So the one that we decided to have slope of 0 when x equals negative 3 was the first one. So we'll have dy dx equals x plus 3. And we have now matched those slope fields with their differential equations.